Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel Deb Chanel's 48th World And we're here for another segment of Don't be telling my business Why are you telling my business Because I can can and I can can I can can and I will Okay <coughs> Welcome back fam welcome back And I'm just doing a follow up story Because if anybody was anybody That had tie on their hands you probably wouldn't have bought the book but i had time on my hands child i had time on my hands and it was for 13 dollars and some change so it's all in all i spent about 15 something so it ain't no it ain't really hurting me it really ain't hurting me okay because i'm making content off this mess anyway but you remember or you may not remember i have been doing chapters of portia's book and putting my perspective on what i've read in her book Okay, but in chapter 3, she talks about this football player and his mom. And if she was true to what she was saying in the book, um, his name was Clinton Portis. Yes, on it, playing for the Washington Redskins. And looky here, looky here, looky here, cookie. Look, wait a minute, looky, looky here, look who comes cookie. All right, this man. Portia, you dodged a bullet, baby. The Lord was looking over you when you weren't even looking over yourself. Because we know, as Dennis said, you don't mess with no bro eagles. You just don't do it. It's not in your DNA. You wasn't raised that way. And you don't get down that way. They got to have some money, honey, to spend time with Portia, buddy. All right. But yeah, this little gentleman, NFL star out there playing for the Washington Redskins, number 26. <coughs> Excuse me, people. Uh, and he's in a bit of a trouble, trouble spot. Yep, he's a... I don't know why he remind me of Dennis Rodman, who played for the Chicago Bulls, I think. Okay, I'm not really sure. Back checkers, family, check me out. Put me put me in line. Put me with the no when I be speaking out of turn. Okay, and sometimes I be saying stuff, and I be thinking I be saying the right thing, but come off you all catch me and y'all have to correct me and I'm, I'm glad do that for me because you know i'm 53 going to be 54 god willing on the 22nd of this month which is january so i want y'all to put down all them birthday wishes when it that uh, january 22nd come so y'all can just flood my timeline ah because that's what we do we're family all right but this little tadpole over here don't he look kind of sweet like he just want to kiss him don't he? he giving me that little download type feel of a man but that was just me when i first saw the picture i said like, that don't look good that that that, that them opticals just don't look good but anyway this is the young man that portia was so smitten with she had taken a bat with she had wrote about him in her book you can get it for uh 13 dollars guys in atlanta at least with change coming i mean with putting the tax on them and whatnot but yeah, he's supposed to be like a little, uh, I think he retired, became a little sports commentator. And the little women we have in there, um, these are some women he tried to get with. And I'm like, Portia, was you doing that back in the day when you were talking about you was on um, a video scene where you were like a little video? You said one a hoe. But to me, you were comparing the other girls that were there with you uh, trying to be in this video. You were calling them hoes would do things for small change or small favors or be seen more in the video but you didn't want to do that because you had a little bit more class i like oh Portia and this is the same guy you met at one of those video shoots because he was there you was trying to play him off to the left to the right but you was acting like that little video ho. I, I had to look again and say is that Portia and I was trying to find a picture of him and you and I just could not find one that might be a lookalike but I think she's a sports commentator um, and it's rumors going around that he owed either that lady 500000 or he owed his mama 500000 I don't know. I was just reading a story, I, uh, something that came across my timeline on NBCSports.com. And I'm not a big sports fan. All the people that I know I used to watch in the 80s and I think 90s was the Chicago Bears. Um, Pat Riley's team. I think it was the Chicago Knicks. Was he part of that, y'all? Or the Lakers. Hell, I think it was the Lakers. I can't, I can't remember, but I love that Italian man. Ooh, he was so smooth in them suits. Ooh, he gave a new name to being Italian. And for me, being a black woman, loving an Italian man. Uh, but anyway. Um, and uh, I used to like the uh, UNLV guys. College ball. Basketball. And I like the Dallas Cowboys. And 
Uh, I think that was about it. But anyway, I wasn't a true, true sports fan. I like the Timberwolves. They bought them out. But they ain't bought, they ain't bought two cents from now. But anyway, I just said that to say, you know, trying to tell you I know a little bit about sport, uh, sports, but very little. I used to like basketball more than anything. But anyway, just got this little, um, little uh, skit or little write-up from the football or pro football talk and honey they were talking about your man i'm like damn he look like dennis rodman in these get-ups like push what did you see in this guy girl because he's giving me another kind of tease you know what i'm saying mm, mm. but okay we ain't gonna say it but anyway um this article was written up by michael david smith but uh yeah Portia, using that use a little bit of your hoe too you you be a little hoe when you was in your 20s and you hanging around uh the rap group i was telling you you were hanging around and you knew about so so deaf and ludicrous girl you know you wanted me in them videos but i never saw you in um their videos so i'm like mjg or something like that or eight ball i have to read the book again but yeah you was out there trying to make your way into the entertainment business at a very very early age but anyway going back to the article they were trying to say this young man he committed fraud with the health care system and he got his house repossessed he had a waterfront home um i don't i think he has two boys and he may have been married before I, i'm not really sure Portia, but you dodged a bullet when he didn't want you and you dodged a bullet when it came to that mom in law girl because look what they talking about your young man that you used to treasure back when you was in your early 20s flying out to see him and stuff because we know you like you don't mess with no bro eagles dennis told us that because cordell you like them nfl players that's like instant money so you got to marry in a play nfl player after all but it didn't last too long huh Portia? was you being too greedy then child was you being too greedy then and we know you don't mess with people that ain't got no money because Dennis I ain't gonna say he a zillionaire or a millionaire, okay? But he ain't hurting for nothing. And he got several business establishments to say he ain't really hurting. And he ain't, you know, uh paying Peter to pay Paul how you trying to do with your daycare, you were saying, because you borrowing money from your little man right there. He was giving it to you too. Probably against his mother's wishes but it just is what it is okay but yeah they said the man lost his home his waterfront home uh he lost uh he, he he's in jail now see you see you dodged a bullet you was gonna be married to a jailbird a fraud uh a person who's frauding the health care system and probably just a, a whole too you, you just didn't know what you were getting with this man but you dodged the bullet portion i'm so proud of you but i'm more proud of the lord protecting you somebody was praying for you when you weren't even praying for yourself you see how that go now we got to figure out what you're going to do with this dennis and simon situation because it don't seem like simon gonna be too long with you because you got a lot of people chasing after you just like you got a lot of people chasing after him while well, money okay money 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 and the two just don't mix with you and Simon trying to run from two different entities. He running from a lady that he owed 200k for. And you, front of, you running from your cousins, your family. Because they're on your ass about how you made them look out here on that television show that you had. But we ain't here for that. We're going to talk about this here man. Portis or Clinton Portis. Okay. From what? Uh, pro football talk commentary coming from Michael David Smith was the author of this little piece this little diddly i'm finna put out on him okay and it's not allegedly this is actually truth all right it says clinton portis sentenced to six months in prison for health care fraud <coughs> yep push you finna marry a jailbird girl now see how see how the lord showed him and showed out for you girl he let you miss that whole situation that you were trying to put yourself into but it was okay because you were going through it you thought you loved a man and shit happens right okay but it says former nfl running back clinton portis will serve prison time not overnight stay we talking about prison time uh for health care fraud portis was sentenced to six months in prison today okay for a scheme to falsely claim he purchased expensive medical equipment and then some 
and then submitted receipts for reimbursement to the Gene Upshaw NFL Player Health Reimbursement Account Plan, which helps retired NFL players pay for health care costs. U.S. District Judge Karen K. Caldwell said at the sentencing hearing that although Portis pleaded guilty, he has not owned up to what he did, according to the Lexington Herald leader. Okay? Now I'm like, damn, if you would have married him, both of y'all would have been liars. Because y'all don't basically want to own up to your truth. You don't want to take accountability. So, see, that, that wouldn't have worked out for you at all, Portia. At all. Because we can't have both of y'all lying and, and running away from responsibility. Can't have that. You won't have nothing. House of it never stand. It will fall all the time. Okay, but going back to the article, it says Washington football team owners Dan and Tanya Snyder wrote a letter to Caldwell on Porter's behalf, urging urging leniency. Okay, Clinton's generosity in, is legendary, but so is his trust in others, which sometimes proves misplaced. The Snyder's wrote, and it has been uh, hard over the years to see Clinton taken advantage of by those who have abused his trust. We were shot when Clinton was indicted in this case, not because Clinton was uh, got wrapped up into something where others did not have his best interests in mind, but because Clinton is the opposite of a criminal. Now, I don't know, Portia, do you want to say something about this? Because it was criminal on what he had told you about y'all baby y'all had together. That was a criminal mind at work right there. But then he got other folks saying he's not a criminal. He got played to the left. What you got to say about that, Portia? What do you have to say about that? But anyway, going back to the article, it said Portis is one of 15 former NFL players charged in the fraud case. And the 10th sentence, former Saints receiver Joe Horn qu quickly pleaded guilty and agreed to cooperate with the investigation. And he was not sentenced to prison time. The others, uh, Correll Bockhalter, John Eubanks, Eltrick Pr Pruitt, James Butler, Sandris C C C C Brown, Carlos Rogers, Anthony Montgomery, Darrell Reed, and Frederick Bennett has received sentences ranging in or ranging from home confinement to a year and a half year in prison. Now, why did these or some people got home confinement uh, to a year and half prison sentence? Now, he just wanted half prison sentence. That's why he got six months in jail. Jail, prison, all of it seemed to like. Somebody going to be telling you when you can call, go and all that kind of stuff. And you grown as hell. And then another person try to tell you where to come, where to go, how to eat, when to eat, where to eat, where to exercise, when it's time to go to bed, when it's time to take a piss. Really? Girl, you dodged a bullet. Let's praise the Lord for that. Praise him. Okay. But yeah, Portia girl, I don't know what kind of man you be picking at him. But they be the wrong types of men. And questionable men at that. Because they even question. Um, um, or you even tried to put Cordell on blast. To thinking that he was on a down low. You know what I'm saying. And you had that Andre Caldwell. I don't know if you had anything to do with that. But he was coming out saying Caldwell. I mean um, Stewart was after him too. And he's a gay little person running around him saying he was delivered from gayness or whatever. But look him up, Andrew Caldwell. Uh, y'all can see what I'm talking about. Y'all probably already are familiar with him. But yeah, Elise Neal. Now she my actress. She my girl, honey. She was just co-hosting <laughs> with him somewhere. They weren't romantically involved that I know of. You know what I'm saying? They could have been, but they were not there in the public. But it seems like Mr. Clinton likes his women. And I could see you. That I could see that silhouette and that lady looking like you back in the day, Portia. Yeah, I can. I just don't understand why you chose to be with a man that's questionable. Because he kind of looked like that. What, what's that guy shot that's supposed to be uh, Lil Nas X? Okay, yeah, it looked like Lil Nas X running around now. I don't understand that. But it is what it is. <laughs> and we're here for only telling you about your past boyfriend the one that you call yourself wanting to have a baby by and marry girl what would your life would have been like you dodged a bullet you dodged one good one girl and i think you need to get on your knees and say thank you jesus okay now we just gotta see if um <sighs> dennis is gonna take you back he's gonna deal with your family and all the hiccups 
uh, that that can pertain to? And will you forgive him for ever cheating on you? Okay, Portia, will you ever forgive him for cheating on you? Because it don't seem like you want to let that dead horse uh, just lie there. Okay, you want to keep riding and riding and riding. You need to put that horse to bed. Okay? Or are you going to be with the billionaire Simon Gubadia? Okay? We don't know what he do for his business. He might be another Clinton Porter's running around now. And that, I kind of thought that was you in that picture, Portia, but she's a sports commentator, too. And we know you don't know nothing about sports. You just like the butts, the outfit of the man, and that he makes money. So we, we already know. But he made money, but he lost money. He lost the house. He's in jail right now. I say you you, you, you had a one, up on, a one up on this one, Portia. Okay, from me to you, thank you. Surprise. Uh, aren't you glad you didn't hook up with him any further? Have children by this Curtis uh, Clinton Porter's honey. Oh, one for you in the bag. You scored on that one, Portia. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope you like it, love it. Gotta have more. You know what you need to do when you want to come into the house. Ring that doorbell. That's the like button. As you're entering, going out of the house because you're full with excitement, good laughter, good banter, good conversation. Pick up your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. Uh, let's kick it. Yes, honey. And I was when I was trying to do this video, I was like, who, who can Portia run to now? And my escape was, who can she run to? Will she need love? Because I don't know, honey. She batting zero. This man, she fooled around on him, had a baby by him. Seemed like he loved her, but he's just a little eligible playboy right now. Then this man is suspect. He's supposed to be some billionaire, got his own business, drive nice cars, live in nice houses. You know, oh, I don't know. It's all for Portia. All for Portia. And she can see herself all in that because that's her boyfriend at the time being. Y'all say fiance whatever you know what i'm saying just glorify a housemate i want to say because either you're gonna go to get married with what she what what's what she waiting on what is she waiting on once the man said he wanted to marry her it should have been a weekend wedding that next uh weekend or that next day she should have been planning on getting getting married then what's the point life's too short Go on and do what you got to do. Why you got to wait, Portia? You still say you got a date that your family put up there for you. But we still don't know nothing about it. And if it's all that, and it's, it's, it's like a good, like a bag of good chips and some dip and a soda to wash it down with. Why are you waiting? Go on and get married. Go on out to the courthouse. Go on and show us what you're working with, baby. Okay. But yeah, that was the mama who had tried to make that, uh, uh, statement that they had to go on the Moore show to see if Portia really was pregnant and was her son really the or dad <laughs> I'm like girl now look at her now is she crying because like I said I read something somewhere that said he owed his mom 500k or he owed somebody maybe some woman out there he did bad investments I have no idea but he's in jail right now for at least six months out of his life all right so Good job, Portia, for dodging that bullet. Praise the Lord. Girl, praise the Lord. Okay, but that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like and love gotta have more. Always just subscribe to the channel. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.